Hello YouTube, this is me, Gimp from Brawl, also known as Soyo's Pomp by Riku. And I'm here to give you another Gimp tutorial for Gimp on animating sprites. Today I'm going to show you how to make them fight. And um, I don't know if I showed you how to make a background, but if I didn't in the last tutorial, I'm going to show you how to in this one. And we're going to make something similar to this. But it won't be the same thing, it'll be something else. Alright, so, first, first we're gonna, uh, make a new image, and, uh, just leave it at the regular size, cause you won't really need it that big unless the background needs it to be, and then, you're gonna create a couple layers by duplicating them. And then turn off the little eye thing for the top ones and focus on the very bottom layer. And this for this animation, I'm going to use Sasuke and Naruto in QB form right there. And I don't know if I showed you how to get rid of the background, but one way to do it is by taking the wand and then clicking the background, which will select everything that's connected to it. And then once it's finished loading, you'll go to layer. And then transparency, add alpha channel. And then it'll do the little thing that it's doing now. Then you hit control X, and it'll get rid of the background. Another way to do it is if the background color doesn't match with any of the sprites inside the sprite sheet then you can hit this button right here which is pick all the same colors you click that and it'll select everything inside the sprite sheet that has that color in it and then you go to layer again then transparency and then add alpha channel and then you cut it now the difference between these two is that if you'll notice in places like right there where the color is closed off they're not there in that one when we used the pick color but in that one when we used the magic wand it was still there but that doesn't matter really because I'm not focusing on quality but for you guys it will ma it'll probably matter because it depends on it makes the video look better and stuff like that alright once you've got the background gone you can start with your first sprites now it's only normal to start with the standing sprite because you don't want to start it with all of a sudden they're fighting and everything so I'll go ahead and grab Naruto hit control C or you can go to edit copy to copy the sprite after selecting it with this tool you can hit R and it'll select it automatically once you've copied the sprite you can go to the background or the original image and then paste it and zoom in because you're gonna need to know what exactly you're doing so I'm gonna set Naruto over here on the left edge and after hitting control V to paste him or go to edit paste you'll click anywhere that's not on him and it'll anchor it down which will keep it in the spot it's supposed to be and then for Sasuke you're gonna have to flip him around because he's not looking in the in the left direction. This one looks really weird, but whatever. Um, first, control copy and control V. Now this time you're gonna hit Shift F, which will change your icon to that. It's also in the transform tools under tools, transform tools, and then flip. And then click on it, and then it'll switch directions. Now I'll put them over here. Here. Alright, so now they're standing there. And that's the first frame. Now for the next one. Now, if you turned on the eye, you obviously can't see where they are, and it's very hard to see where they're standing. So, in order to be able to see where they're standing, 
and actually be able to line up things so they don't jump around the place even though they're supposed to be standing. You can turn off the eye but still have the background, that layer selected. And then you'll select the next stance, next sprite, whatever. Go over here and it'll outline the sprite, pretty much the selection you just selected. And if you zoom in enough, you can see where the sprites um can outline that one. And you can tell the difference by seeing that he's outlining a different pose than the original one. And you can tell where to put him by looking at the spots where he doesn't exactly move. For example, his foot right here doesn't move at all. Or as much. That's what I normally do. Anyways, paste him there. And then come over here. Get the next Sasuke sprite. and then paste and now as you can see they're moving now now the biggest problem is timing because for like say for instance maybe one of Sasuke's attacks um, take longer to punch or something I don't know there's just some kind of problem with using GIMP to animate for sprites which is why I'd recommend flash but since you're looking at this tutorial you're probably not going to care about getting flash because it's a lot of money and all that stuff but um do whatever you want to do for those of you that just want to use GIMP you're probably going to end up making shorter animations and stuff because GIMP's not really the type that you'd want to use for a really good sprite fight like not another sprite fight or um Link versus Zero, stuff like that. Gim's not really capable of that. And now the biggest problem with this battle is that you're not gonna be able to see Naruto change because it's white, and so is the background. If you wanted to fix that, you could just take another background and put it there. You just do the same thing with this instead of just uh having the white things that you duplicate. You can have a background on it to do that talk about that another time. Alright, for this, put Sasuke standing there again. And you pretty much just do this the whole entire time. It takes like a lot of time to do it, depending on how big you want it. That Sonic Shadow thing ended up being 44 frames, and it's not finished at all. Here's another problem. I can't even see the sprite. So you don't, you don't want to use a white background. That's a good example. Not to use the background. But that's alright. Because this is just a tutorial. Anyways, we're just going to skip a couple of sprites. Because I don't have enough, a lot of time. Now since I can't see that sprite, he's still standing where Naruto is standing. You just can't see him. So I'm just going to take this, line up the corners. Also, you can use your arrow keys to move the sprite around to make it exact. Oh well. I accidentally pasted them over the original white sprite, but that's alright. Nobody cares. It's just a tutorial. Alright, so now in this frame, I'm going to go ahead and put Naruto there is saying on it. I don't know why this sheet doesn't have a sprite of him actually started charging it, but that's alright. Doesn't matter. Alright, so now since he's moving, you're going to want to since this is the first frame of him moving, you don't want to put it too ahead of him. Maybe about right there should do. That's also a no-no right there. Catching other parts of the sprite. You don't want to do that at all. 